Masters Week in Augusta, Georgia marked the beginning of the 2014 Gary Player Invitational Series. This union of golf and giving also celebrated the 40th anniversary of the Black Knight claiming the second of his three green jackets. Gary Player has won his second Masters. The first truly international golfer has injected the same energy and enthusiasm into his charitable activities and the work of the Gary Player Foundation. Mr. Player is, has always been one who's spoken about giving back. You know, he's had the opportunity to be around people of, uh, of all kinds, from Amirs uh, to, the, you know, presidents of the United States to, to people in small villages. And I think it's really awesome that a guy like him gives back so much. The nine-time major winner invited friends and guests to the Black Knight International House at Champions Retreat just down the road from Augusta National to watch the final round of the Masters and kick off the 2014 GPI Series. Golf is an extraordinary game. Uh, I tell young people, play golf. It's the passport to the world. Uh, irrespective of what your business is, it will help you in your business one day. Uh, you know, you can go to a country where people don't even speak your language and you can play with them and have a marvellous day um, just by good shot, nice on, good birdie putt, thank you very much, let's have lunch. You can get by, which is absolutely marvellous. So it's really, it's a true United Nations of sport. The morning after watching Bubba Watson power his way to victory with a final round 69 at the Masters, the guests were treated to another big hitting exhibition by two-time long drive world champion, Jamie Sadlowski. Um, I believe uh, they've raised over $50 million for various charities and um, anytime you can support, uh, you know, boys and girls clubs and, you know, really grassroots of, of young kids that, um, you know, need help uh, with funding, whether it's education or anything like that. So it's something I'm very, uh, um, involved in uh, through charity work that I do um, away from this event is, and to come here today and, and help with this event, it's, uh, it's a great honour. Mr Player was out on the course on Monday to offer tips and advice to all of the groups. You, that's the spot. Oh guys, we're going to love this. Celebrities, businessmen and professional golfers all took part in the Pro-Am team competition on the island course and the Gary Player designed Creek course. Great. Got a great team. We got a few apologies to make, but we're going to make it up on this hole right here. Thank you. While there was friendly competition between the groups, the chance to glean golfing insights from Mr. Player was appreciated by everyone, even the tour pros. Gary Player, obviously, you know, words can't describe who he is, and he's such an idol and legend, so it's just really great to be in his presence and got to see him hit a couple shots today and explain uh, little bits and things about his swing and his approach to the game, which was just so, so fantastic. Since it was established in 1983, the Player Foundation has raised more than $50 million in support of education and children's charities worldwide. I think the vision for his foundation is to help people all around the world and uh, for what he raises in the United States of America, which will be a lot of money uh, these, this particular week, Master's Week, uh, is going to help people here in America. So there are so many people who are less fortunate and unfortunate, and, uh, and he's going to help them. The Gary Player Invitational Series forms a major part of this charity initiative and the event at Augusta raised more than $328,000 during Masters Week. Next up is the Berenberg Gary Player Invitational at Wentworth in July, another particularly special venue for Mr Player as it's the scene of his five world match play victories. Let's hope he and his team can build on another wonderfully successful week at Augusta. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Clay.